Hey, why, why? Do you know when is the election day? Of course! So where can I vote? I don't know. <laughs> why are you so sad? I don't know how to vote! We can summon the MQ Genie! 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 Surprise! <laughs> Hey, Jeannie, when can we vote? It will be on the 5th of October during morning, lunchtime after school. Hey, Jeannie, when can we vote? At Atrium. So how can we vote? Let me show you. Oh, I really want to support this cabinet. Green for a frog. Oh, I really support all the ch chamber cabinets. Nice. Hmm, I can't decide which cabinet to choose. Me, Marcella, really want to support this cabinet. I don't want anyone to see my vote. Hey, Marcella, which cabinet did you vote for? Okay, don't tell the others. No, 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 no! What you're doing is absolutely wrong. If you continue to do this, your votes will be invalid. First, you should not draw on the ballot paper. Second, you should only chop in the middle of the circle. Remember, your tick has to be fully inside the circle. Thirdly, you should only vote for one cabinet, so only use one tick. Fourthly, don't write on the paper, only use the chop. Also, you can only chop one tick. You cannot chop multiple ticks, if not, it will be invalid as well. Last but not least, you are only required to fold twice. So after you're done, fold twice and you're good to go. For Student Union and Chamber Aristotle, you can choose your desired cabinet. For Chamber Beethoven, Columbus, Da Vinci and Einstein, you can choose yes to support or no to not support. Let me show you how to vote correctly. If you want to choose linear, Chop in this circle. If you want to vote for pigeon, chop in this circle. Once you're finished, fold your ballot twice. So that's how you do it. You will have one SU ballot and one chamber ballot. Please remember to bring your student planner. Oh, your student ID card. Please support SU and Chamber. See you on October 4th.